Today is a dynamic day, and that means safety squat bar, 150 pounds of band tension, and a box above one inch of parallel. The bar weighs about 65 pounds. I did a plate, then I moved the two plates, which is 245, then I moved the three plates, which is 335, and I did two sets of three. The speed wasn't where I want it, so what I did is I, I decreased the weight to 300, and it seems like that's the ideal weight right now for me. I'm actually happy with these squats. My knee held, or should I say my knee and hip held up better than before. Uh, I've been having a problem for the past couple of months, and what it is is my knee would buckle in on the right side. What that was caused by, and what it is caused by, is tightness in the hip. I've just been working on stretching my hips out, making sure they're good and ready before I squat. But there's still a little bit of tightness, and hopefully it'll continue to improve. Um, when it first began, I wasn't able to squat 135 without my knee just buckling in on box squats. But as you can see, it's, it's holding up great today. And it's held up great for the past couple of weeks. I just haven't posted videos of it. Box squat, you want it to be fast. Before, when I had 235, it was just too slow. Then moved on to front squats. Now, this does cause my knee to buckle. This is where the tightness comes into play. And this is good because you'll be able to see it. With the 135, it's fine. Oh, there it goes. There, sorry. There it goes one. It's better on that. the next one. Watch my right knee. You'll notice my entire leg buckles when I get to 225. That made squats scary, but on the front squats, I'm a little bit comfortable, more comfortable with it because the safeties are right there, and it's a lightweight. But I'm going to keep on stretching. I'm going to get this condition fixed, and I'm going to keep on increasing the weight. There it goes. You see it. Once again, this is caused by tightness of sitting for long periods of time. So the solution is stretching, getting up every hour walking around, um, just not staying in a static position all the time. Afterwards, it was time for glute ham raises. I did three sets of six. When I'm doing them, I usually try to get as close as I can to the floor, if not touch my nose to the floor, and then come back up. These really blow up the hamstrings, glutes, and of course, calves. But the big movers on this are the hamstrings. I'm doing these lower on the bench, so it's more like a Russian leg curl, so it's a little bit harder. If I raise the bench up a little bit further, I can get on top of the pad, and it'll be like a regular glued ham, which will be a little bit easier for me. But hey, it's not always what's the easiest that makes you better. It's actually what's the hardest. So when you're choosing assistance, Choose assistance that's hard for you, not the one that's super easy for you. Then moved on to seated leg curls using bands. I really like these. I just haven't done them in a long time. I did uh, three sets of 15. What I like about this particular exercise is you can actually, you, you could buy one set of bands and if they become really easy for you, you can always move the bench back more and then it's a further stretch, the tension builds up and the band has become harder again. So after three sets of 15, I did hanging leg raises, which you'll see in a little bit. And I did three sets of 10. Thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and please share. And if you have any comments, leave them below and I'll answer them. Bye.